All right. This is an interesting show tonight. I'm mainly referring to the uh, optimism, actually. Um, and um, I have something to say about that, actually. Um, actually, when I was five years old, I'm going to tell you the whole story of my life while I'm up here. No, when I was five years old, um, I told my mother, apparently, she told me this later, that um, it was better, I thought, to expect for bad things to happen because that way you didn't get disappointed. And my mom thought that was terrible, um, but I thought it was very practical. Um, now, when I look back on it, I think, God, fuck, I was depressed when I was five <laughs> years old. Um, I should have been on, like, I should have been seeing a counselor. But, you know, whatever. So anyway, I'm going to read for you a very happy poem tonight. Um, joke. <laughs> called... <laughs> called... <laughs> called, I'm Coming, Love. And um, anyway, uh, you can read whatever double entendre into the title you want to. The um, main point, though, is that it's about a woman who her uh, boyfriend broke up with her, and she's just not handling it so well. It's just one poem, but believe me, it's long enough to be two, so it's just one. And I'm going to have to maneuver this turning of the pages somehow. Anyway. It starts out with a quote by Leonard Cohen. Between the birthmark and the stain, between the ocean and your open vein, between the snowman and the rain, once again, love calls you by your name. Leonard Cohen. Matt is my man. He helps me to unwind. Without him, I'm a scarecrow people fear. I pull out slowly, and my back tires grind the gravel like the saws you sometimes hear. Seeing Matt's name carved in the steering wheel, I lift my razor blade and start to trace the jagged letters. Then I turn and peel out like Dale Earnhardt. I can see Matt's face the last night we made love, wrathful, unreal. When I was coming, he jerked from my kiss. Early today, Matt went to therapy. His truck, a Ford that's yellow like dried piss, was at the office of Her Majesty, Dr. Sharon White. He wouldn't miss that sacred hour. I know she's fucking him. Since Matt's been seeing her, he's been controlled. With her dark hair pulled back, her skirt so prim, she stepped out of her office and they strolled around the lawn. She keeps herself so trim. Where was he going with that fucking shrink? There's the steel mill no one has worked in years, crouched like a spider that's about to slink across the road. I'd love to grab some beers and bring Matt there handcuffed. What would he think? I'd make him tell me why he's been so mad. Sure, I said some things I shouldn't say. I wouldn't cut, old butch. I'm not that bad. But Matt knows how I love. I'm all the way. And he would mutilate this love we've had. I dig my razor blade into my thigh. Three days ago, Matt banned me from his home. He just stared blankly as I screamed, why? Why? He wouldn't even let me get my comb. When I came back, I told him I might die, and if I did, my blood was on his head. The smirk he brandished as he slammed the door said everything. That bastard wished me dead. I couldn't breathe. Had I just been his whore? God damn it! My whole fucking seat is red. I cut too deeply, picturing Matt's neck. But now I'm giggling. This little flood between my legs could cause a guy to wreck. A trucker might look over, see the blood. 
If so, I'd smile, reach down, then flick a speck into his cab. He'd think that he'd been cursed, baptized with menstrual blood by some young witch. I'd cackle as he crashed and his truck burst into bright petrol flames. My thigh begins to itch, but I am laughing harder. What's the worst thing that could happen? I've lost everything. Here's Elm, then Oak, Matt's street. This is absurd. I've wound up here where all the streetlights sting my weary eyes, where every ugly word Matt shouted burns again. I stroke the ring he lost last week. Love, we were meant to be. Deep down, Matt loves me. He's been hypnotized. That's not his fault. Our love was pure and free until he met the succubus disguised as Dr. White. She hid his love for me deep in his mind and smiled and twitched her ass. My head is aching and my stomach feels as shaky as a sheep stuck in a mountain pass. It's been three days now. Nothing heals. I, st I stop my car. I'm almost out of gas. I know my purpose now, to love or die. I can't come to the door, but there's a creek beside the house that I can edge along. Checking my compact, I look like a freak. My cheeks are twitching and my eyes are wrong. Bloodshot and narrowed, not what Matt will want. But it's his fault that I am such a mess. I have no choice tonight but to confront my cheating boyfriend. Maybe he'll confess and take me back. And I will kill that cunt. White's office walls will have a new design. I'm stepping from the car into the black, when punished night to take back what is mine. Matt, love, you know you have the warmth I lack. I clench my blade. Blood runs a thin red line. I'm coming, love. Nothing can hold me back. Thank you. Jeff Holt.